Here we are again, Robin the Sudoku Guy with tutorial number 29. And in this particular tutorial, uh, it's not a puzzle, but it's just a scenario. And I want to feature the, f the power the diagonal cross can do, even with small numbers. So let's look at this first of all. A um, couple of other things before I get going. Why will I say that this is a 1-3? How did I come up with that? Well, if you look closely, you can use the cross meet technique using two numbers. We have a 3 1 here, we have a 3 1 here, so the 3 and 1 cannot be anywhere in that area, and we also have a 3 and 1 down in here. 3 1. So, in summary, when you've got 3 1, 3 1, 3 1, that has to be a matching pair. Okay, now let's go over to this side here. Um, this is very interesting. If you were to look at this carefully, you will notice that we have a diagonal cross. Let's start with the four first of all. Here's the four, and there's the four. The four has to be in the middle here, so left, center, right. And it can't be there, it has to be there or there. So let's put that in. A 4 and a 4. Let's take um, the fact that we have a, what you call a diagonal cross with the 5s. Here's a 5 here, a 5 here, there's a 5 here and 5 here. The 5 must be in the middle here. And it cannot be here, here because of this 5 in here. So this has to be a 5-5. Five, five. The, the, the whole idea of a diagonal cross is that you know that if you've got a 5-5 five, five and a 5-5, five, five, then there has to be a 5 in the in middle here. But same with a 4, 4, 4 has to be in the middle. But in this case, we have a 5 and a 4 here, so we can't have it there. Don't go away. I've got some, another scenario coming. Hello, here we are. This is the final part of this particular tutorial. And what I want to do is to show you something really neat. If this was a very difficult puzzle, and it used to have all the little numbers in here, the possible numbers in here, but to make it easy to understand, I've uh, rubbed them out. And as we were doing the puzzle, I discovered that there was a seven and a five in this row, there was a 5 and a 7 in this row. Immediately, that becomes a blade of what we call a cleaver. And this section here is the section that we will call the handle. Now, once I discovered that this 7, 5 was there and that 5, 7 was there, what I did was then immediately get rid of this 5 and this 7, this 7 can go, this seven can, this 5 and 7 can go, this 5 and 7 can go. Now because it was a cleaver, the 5 and 7 has to go in these two cells here. And it becomes a, what we call a hidden matching pair. So I can now remove all these little numbers and leave the 5 and 7 there and it becomes a matching pair a matching hidden matching well matching um, um, hidden matching pair got it well that's all I have to share this time there's lots more coming